It's one of those uh, rainy days here in Great Britain, um, in Australia, and uh, it was like it's been raining for about 40 days and 40 nights, so just like now, I'm going to get two of everything on board, but in this modern day world, we're not bringing on the horses and the goats and the chickens, we're going to put on the back here, two motorbikes, yeah. So to make the bike carrier, we're going to need to bring in the big guns, because we're using some pretty heavy duty metal, right? So I'm off to uh, pick up my mate Norm. And then we're off to another fella's place up in the mountains called Terry, where they've got all the big equipment. Off we go, eh? Let's do this! Arr, it's hard work, mate. What are you, Philip? What now? You've been in here twice this week already, and you know it's Saturday morning now. <laughs> what can you do it, hey? It's hard work. Hey, hard work, you ladies. Oh, no, bloody hell, I can't do that, it's too bloody hard. We're through the bottom of the chassis rail. We're going to set in the big supporting rods here. Anyway, it's hard work and it's still raining 40 days and 40 nights. We'll get these two critters on board anyway. So there's the Chapella Pachella Papella plate. You can see where it's just folded around over our support structure rail there. We've thrown some LED lights on the side, indicators and driving lights and that sort of gear. But these ones here are going on the corners and we've got some other ones on the ends and let's put them on. Let's whack these eye bolts in. the bolt through and we put on this doodang it's stainless steel as well they're nice and nice and smooth there's nothing to burn your fingers on spin them around and that's what we're going to use to tie on the the strap so that's all looking good oh well, things are pretty cool when you start putting the tracks on for your motorbikes it's all action you know it's all go bikes on woo 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 we've got to mount these with the same doodangs you remember the little doodang machine that we used to mount the Honda, you know, slide on, slide off sort of thing. That's what we're going to use to mount these in. You drill some holes, you pop the little screw rivety things in, you press them up, and then you can just put bolts straight into the frame here. It's fantastic, nice and quick, nice and easy. Now this is the uh, bike ramp, uh, you know, get her upper, a biker upper thing. Bike ramp. Okay, now what we've done is we've got the two bolts here, stainless again. I call them the fangs, you know. Things for the memories. And that little bit of black urethane on there, so when we just put it down, it's going to mark where to put the holes. So thank you very much, time to go. Sometimes in life you just feel like you're hanging on by your fingernails. Well, it's the same thing with these little doodang things here. There's my little fangs here. Now they've got to hang on nicely in those holes down there, because that's got to keep the motorbike on, you know, or the tray, the bike chump. Comes up, oh, bike, yeah. Did I say it's been a big day? Well, it's been a huge day. Got heaps done, and it's all looking fantastic. We've got the bike sitting up there in the tracks as well. The little stainless little doodang things there, the little rings to hold them on. The nice LEDs on the back. I've even got a tap. That way, you can set up a nice tray here to gut the fish and, you know, be head people and stuff like that. So there's the bike sitting up there. It's all looking cool and groovy. Generators over there. We'll put another one here and we'll hook them up in series in parallel so then we'll get megawatts. Alright, it's all fantastic. Very happy. What a great day. Happy boy. Big smiles all around, eh? <laughs> Alright! Just, just one other little quick tip with the uh, putting on the propeller plate and the checker plate and the, 
the trays for the bikes, all the gear, before you put it down underneath between the surfaces, put a layer of silica, get the right gear for aluminium and that, let it set for a while, forms kind of like a gasket, and stops all the vibration and aluminium chatter. Who's chatter? So all the gears there are pretty much right to go for the bikes to fit onto. Get a hold of some really good tie down straps, make sure it's secure. You get these little uh, suspension saving little bracket things that go on top of the wheel to stop you pulling down hard on your suspension. Tie it on tight, test it out, and get out there and have some fun. Yeah. Get out there and have some fun. Yeah. 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 yeah.